everybody, this is KCG. And before you start this reaction, I do want, I just want to let you all know that this is the fourth part of Paradox Pictures' Lego Spider-Man conclusion. I have linked the first three parts as well as the, a recap of his series. So before you watch my reaction, I please watch those videos first, just so that you have, you have an understanding of what you're about to see. You're caught up? Good. Enjoy the reaction. Here we go. Jane's flash sequence. Do you have the location? They pulled me to the west side docks off the twelfth and seventh. Call in everyone. I'll be there soon. All right, boss. So we're gonna get to Peter Parker's, or Peter Parker in his head. Oh, my head. The effects look great. What's going on? I'm guessing hey, these were the I'm guessing these were the hardest shots to make with all the effects. Uncle Ben? Uncle Ben! I I Whoa. <laughs> So what's There's going so on? Much I wanna say, but what is this? Where are we? Yeah. <laughs> this is your subconscious, Pete. You don't remember what happened? I can't believe I'm actually talking to you again, Uncle Ben. This is crazy. How's May been? Oh. Oh. Aunt May's been great. A uh, few financial struggles, but we've managed. And how about you? What about me? I, I'm just... I'm just glad to be able to see you again. Well, you've had a lot in your mind lately. So much has happened. Yeah. I deal with Norman. I want him to feel the pain he inflicts on others. I want him to feel it. Peter, revenge isn't the answer. It won't ever fulfill you. You think it'll be the end, but it isn't. You'll never stop looking for closure, and it'll never come. Not through vengeance, at least. Only justice what? is the best way. Forgiveness. Forgive him? Forgive him? Oh. It's not fair! Whoa, when facial I... expressions. Whoa. I can't forgive him. What happened to Gwen was terrible, Peter. I can't imagine the pain you've been in. And I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It was my fault, Uncle Ben. I wasn't being selfish if I only did what was necessary. No, it's not, Peter. Blaming yourself won't help anyone. It won't change anything. And take a second to listen to yourself. Did what was necessary? You sound just like Osborne. I think we've been looking at this a bit wrong. Before you can forgive others, you need to let go and forgive yourself. Ooh. Myself? You're the smartest person I ever knew, Peter. I know you'll figure it out. What? I don't think I've what seen hell? any uh, Lego YouTuber who's done this many ago, facial expressions. Yep. Great power comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. No, 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 Uncle Ben, please don't leave me. No, no. Wow. Oh. 
Still got that bruise on his face. Continuity. Another great shot. Thank you, Uncle Ben. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at this. I can not like that big screen. Part four, last one. You should get out of here, kid. It's gonna be dangerous tonight. A war is upon us. Tombstone. The Kingpin. Everything's all set up, Kingpin. They won't know what hit him. Perfect. We got him cornered. to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. I know you're mad at me, Jenny. I haven't been there recently because of work. But after tonight, everything's going to be different. I'm officially gonna quit. I'll finally be there for you. Was that his I wife or... Don't or don't believe me. Or his kid. But I swear. So, um, yeah. I'll give you another call later. It'd mean a lot if we could talk. I want to make it all up. Bye. After tonight, Goblin's gonna finally become the new kingpin of the Ten Dawns. I'm finally gonna be free from this life. Is it true that Blackie Gaston had a fiance or always hated being or someone in the comics? Rat. Comment down below. Rat. 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 My whole life I wondered what was wrong with me. Why did everyone call me a rat? Then one day I realized. I realized I never felt the sense of loyalty with anyone. I don't know why I couldn't establish bonds with people. Backstory? Until I met him. It was last fall. I was helping out a crew with a pretty standard heist. Everything went perfectly. Until... The hell was that? Oh, this is the flashback clip that Paradox... Uh, posted earlier. Who the hell are you? I know none of you want to spend your time in such petty crimes like this for the rest of your life. You're meant for much bigger things. I see a flame inside of all of you that's ready to be set ablaze. The kingpin of the Ten Dons has always been someone from some bygone era. It's time for a new reign in the city. And I want you all to join me in building an army. I'll take you to the top as the new kingpin of crime. 
hearing Mr. Osborne's words changed my life that day. And same with the rest of the crew. We all became part of his gob squad. His enforcers. Wow. He gave me the most special role of them all. The mole. Blackie. You have connections within the Ten Dons, but more specifically, with Silvermane. I'm going to need you for a very special. So let's help uh, Blackie became of the mole. Of Mr. Osborne. Now, Silvio's a tough one when it comes to both him and Fisk. He never stays in one area and has people with him at all times. It is true that he stays in the shadows. I don't know much about him, as I wasn't really around in his generation. But everyone fears him. I've heard many stories since I was a kid about Silvermane. They called him the Boogeyman. However, his old age has probably limited his actions. So the more terrifying thing about him now is his influence. This is where you come in, Blackie. You're in his sphere. I need you to get us information on Silvermane's drug activity. Now, we're going to make the all-perfect Silvermane slip up. And the way to do that is to first hurt their back. I don't know if I can... I know, I know. It's a tough job to ask of. You'd be working in enemy territory for the foreseeable future. But don't take it the wrong way. You may be a traitor to them, but to us, you're our greatest asset. The most trustworthy one of us all. Three into so this. The old day. Just only eleven minutes in. I appreciate the help. My boys are unloading the stuff right now. Enough lead to take out a whole army. Let's stock up then. Do you have the location? They pulled into the west side docks off of 12th and 7th. Call in everyone. I'll be there soon. All right, boss. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, Black, he's with them? Eyes up. They should be here any second. Right, Gaxton? Oh. oh no. Nobody double crosses Silvermane. Oh my god. So tragic, so tragic. Eyes up. <sighs> Man. Oh no. Oh shit. Language? Oh, fire! It's a setup! We're on the heavy coach! It's 
gonna be loud. Coming. The boss. Spider-Man. Yes! Hey there! Did you miss me? Yes! You! The one and only. Come on! No, I'm getting the hell out of here! Wait. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no, he's, he's used to another crystal. Out of this just isn't in my vocabulary. Too bad. Maybe this is. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, he needs to die now. Oh, this is it. I can't do it. He's got me beat. What's going on? Mr. Jameson, we need you to evacuate. It's unknown exactly what's going on, but it seems to be a large-scale attack on the city. Apparently Spider-Man is fighting off the threat, but we need to get you to safety. He's back. He's still alive and worse than ever. Oh no. Hey, but it's good to have you back, Spider-Man. We have to evacuate, Mr. Jameson. I refuse! You expect me to run, even after you told me Spider-Man's out there fighting! 
If he can't save us, then no one can! What? Yeah! Let's go, Spider-Man! 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 What am I doing? I can't give up! Wow, I did not expect that from Jameson. Oh! Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, this is just like the finale to protect their Spider-Man. Oh yeah. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh no. It's too late, Parker. I got what I wanted. Only 16 Double minutes a left. Was the last of the competition. I win. Won? Won what? What exactly have you won? Influence and respect. Whenever you hear the name Goblin, people will cower in fear. Like you have for the past two years. What's driving you isn't some survival instinct. Just moving the table. It's an illness. I don't know what happened to you, but you are sick. Normal people don't go this far to leave behind legacies. You're right. Only successful people do. We're the ones who are willing to make the decisions that others won't. Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, you think they ethically made billions upon billions? Why don't you take a trip to China and see how iPhones are made? Maybe that is true, but you don't have to be like them. A legacy doesn't have to span centuries for it to be significant. You'll never be satisfied with the path you're on now, because all that ambition is never ending. What? Are you actually listening to this guy? This kind of hippie Bullshit is what losers cling to to make themselves feel better. No. You're going to get us caught. You're destroying our legacy. And for what? Some naive teenager who's pounding off some crap he found on the internet? You think he would ever understand? He's a kid. A dumb kid. Norman, who are you talking to? Peter, you need to understand. I can't be a failure anymore. You're not a failure, Osborne. You've done more than most people could ever dream of. You built a company from the ground up and became a millionaire. All that through sheer dedication and hard work. And you've used that power, that money, that influence. Oh. To help you've already left a legacy. One of goodwill, charity, and compassion. It's not too late to save it from the Green Goblin. Even after what you did to Gwen. I... I don't think it's too late. Just let me help you. Great power comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. Will he do it? I've been waiting a long time for this. Harry? What are you doing here? He's gonna take you away again. Put down the gun. Harry, it's gonna be okay. No, it hasn't been okay. Things haven't been okay for a long time now. You took him away from me, and now you're gonna do it again. That's not what I'm trying to do. You have to believe me. 
You're being preposterous. Put the gun down now. You're not thinking straight. Oh, I see. You're taking sides with Peter. Never me. What do I have to do to prove myself? What do I have to do to make you proud? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, all right. You're being a fool right now. I love you. You know that. You both know that's a lie. Ever since the day I was born, I was never good enough. I may be stupid in your eyes, but I'm smart enough to see my own failures. No. No. Peter was always the one you really loved. He outclasses me in every way. That's why you saw him as a son. Son, that's not true. In the past, yes, I was often disappointed with you. I had unrealistic expectations and the pressure took a toll on you. I'm sorry. I really am. I know I can't even begin to make it up to you with just an apology. But it's a start. Because, Harry, I've come to realize just how precious you are to me. I love you. And I'm so proud of you for being strong enough to deal with me all these years. You're... You're my son. I was just thinking of that. You're my son. Ever since Emily, I was too focused on what I lost instead of appreciating what I had. I neglected you, Harry. You turned into a man before my eyes, and I barely blinked. I'm so sorry, son. I know you had your little cutesy moment with the kid, but the cops are gonna be here any second. We don't have time to stick around here. I'm done listening to you! Do you get it? I'm done taking orders! Norman, there's nothing there! He's in my head. I can't get him out. NYPD, hands up. Shield's gonna detail him, not the NYPD. Oh yeah? Oh, we, oh yeah, I forgot. Side. Just look at the guy you're pointing your gun at. Holy sh uh, I'll, uh, I'll set up a perimeter on the street. Peter, I... I don't know what to say. Sometimes things are better left unsaid. We'll always be friends here. Always. He must have already gotten the memo. We haven't seen Shield in a long time in this series. Right on time, Nick. I want to talk to you about Oswald. We've doubled up on security since his breakout and cleaned out our staff numerous times. The full nine yards. Look, can you do me a favor? <laughs> I want Osborne to be put under psychiatric care. Excuse me? He's mentally ill, Nick. He needs rehabilitation, not a prison sentence. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Nick. Smart. I really appreciate it. Smart of you, Spider-Man. Well, I mean, Peter. Till next time, kid. Boy, we gotta get ourselves one of those. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that one. After yep. The gang the NYPD managed to put away the majority of the New York crime families, along with Norman's gang. Jameson actually managed to win the election, and got a lot of good PR because of the mob wow. collapse. In the end, even I got some credit for my work against Gob. The big news of the night, besides the obvious, is that J. Jonah Jameson was elected mayor. Aunt May, I'm fine. We can put away the first aid it's kit. Okay, okay. I saw Uncle Ben yesterday, Aunt May. You... what? In my... dream, I talked to him. It felt so good to talk to him again. But it just made me realize how much I miss him. I... 
miss him too. Wow. Ooh, they got the spider sing signal. Huh. Didn't think that'd work. You know, I'd usually kid around with you on this one, Jonah, but genuinely, I want to say congrats. What? <sighs> Thank you. Is there a particular reason why you built this thing? To be quite honest, I've never been the biggest fan of you. You don't say. But after what happened last week, I realized that I, well, the city, uh, what I'm trying to say is, the city of New York owes you our gratitude. Obviously. It's really no problem. We want to give you a formal ceremony and offer you the key to the city. What do you say? Nah. Excuse me? Look, JJ. I don't do this looking for a reward at the end of the day. I appreciate the offer and all, but it's just not my style. That kind of makes After sense. All these years. Aren't you curious about who I am? I've always known, kid. <laughs> See you around, Jonah. Of course I've known. John. My son, you were the only person able to save this city. Wow. Oh. They say acceptance is usually the hardest part of grief. It's probably true in my case. I've never stopped thinking of you, boy. And probably never will. But Uncle Ben was right. I have to forgive myself for what happened to you. And I'll always have to live the rest of my life without you. Spider-Man theme. Spectacular Spider-Man theme. <laughs> yeah, eight years. This is incredible. Deliver a proper conclusion. I will always remember how it began. Ah, uh, I gotta start rewatching the the series from when it started, looking like that. Yeah. Yeah, some of the villains he started in this series were uh, Electro, Shocker, Blizzard, uh, yeah, and Dr. Octopus. <sighs> Looking back on the series, I think Gwen shouldn't have died early on in season one. Or like, in se at the end of season one. I think she would have been better if she wasn't killed and I think she if she want was supposed if she uh, was needed to be killed then I think the the mid to end of season of this of season two would have been good I think that one's my favorite episode the one where the villains break out of prison that's the only uh, episode of this series that I've rewatched the most.
That was a fun one. Sandman and Rhino teaming up with Spider-Man. Oh, and that episode, that one was another episode that I rewatched. Especially like the part where Norman and Peter have that conversation and all the setup that's been building up. And Sinister Six, that one was a fun episode as well. Seeing all of his other uh, Netflix Avengers featured. Ah! Spider-Man, how the heck are ya? Oh. <laughs> Blue I've been purse. wanting to meet you for quite a while. I've been wanting to. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. That's strange. His greeting sounded similar to Mr. Osborne's. Shake my hand, boy. Shake my hand. <laughs> you shake my hand, huh? Well then. Have I got a gift for you this Christmas, Spider-Man? Oh, I got a... oh, oh. <laughs> I got my shirt blown off from a bomb. <laughs> That's right, Peter. After you killed my father, I've decided from now on all I can do is everything bad. What, like blow up all of New York? I'm just gonna do bad stuff. I'm gonna cut people in half. No, son. I'm gonna... What? No. Father? Don't do anything bad. <laughs> How are you? You abandoned me! I didn't abandon you, Harry. I died. Yeah, right. Screw this. <laughs> <laughs> no! Spider-Man, what have you done? I think I have... superpowers. I find that hard to believe. All right, all right, how about this? Go ahead and throw as many punches as you want. I bet you a hundred bucks you don't land one. Easy money. If you're watching this paradox, then it's been fun joining the ride and seeing your Lego Spider-Man show come to life. I'll still uh, uh, check out your channel uh, once in a while to see what you've been doing. But I'm curious to see uh, what other ideas you have in store for the future. I would be surprised if you do revive your Lego Spider-Man series, but I, I think you've I think you've done your your job for Spider-Man on your channel. Well that about wraps up this reaction. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, uh, comment below, and check out Paradox Pictures' channel for more videos. But until next time. I'm KCG, wash your hands, and have a good day.